Hello. Welcome to Storytime with Zach. My name is Carol Linton, and I am a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, Southfield Alumni Chapter. I'm also the chair of the Arts and Letters Committee hosting this series for National Reading Month. I'm delighted that you joined us today to read a story entitled The Proudest Blue by Olympic medalist Iftihaj Muhammad. The Proudest Blue. Mama holds out the pink. Mama loves pink. But Asaya shakes her head. I know why. Behind the counter is the brightest blue, the color of the ocean. If you squint your eyes and pretend there's no line between the water and the sky. It's the first day, Hijab. Asaya knows it. I know it. We are sisters. The next day, I wait. A new pack, backpack, new light up shoes. I feel special. I like, I feel like twirling. Asaya comes out of the house and I stop. It's the most beautiful first day of school ever. I'm walking with a princess, so I pretend I'm one too. But even princesses have to stop to cross the street. Asaya takes my hand in hers and says, Come on, Fiza. We speed walk it. Fourteen steps, fourteen light-ups to get across. Asaya takes me to my line first, hugs me goodbye. I turn to watch her leave, give a little curtsy to the princess going to the sixth grade area. She's easy to see. Her hijab smiles at me the whole way. My first day hijab is going to be blue, too. Do you know what a hijab is? Do you think you have a guess? What's that on your sister's head? The girl in front of me whispers. A scarf, I whisper back. I don't know why a whisper came out. Try again louder now. A scarf, hijab. Okay, she whispers. Asaya's hijab isn't a whisper. Asaya's hijab is like the sky on a sunny day. The sky isn't a whisper. It's always there, special and regular. The first day of wearing hijab is important, Mama had said. It means being strong. I turn, but I can't see the blue anymore. I run to the big kid's side, 27 steps to see Asaya. I need to give her another hug. I need to see her smile. Fiza, I, Asaya's eyes wonder why I'm here. Are you excited, I ask, about the first day of hijab? She nods, smiling big, and I feel better. Someone laughs from nearby. A boy pointing at Asaya. Why? Why do you think he's laughing? Asaya's hijab isn't a laugh. Asaya's hijab is like the ocean waving to the sky. It's always there, strong and friendly. Some people won't understand your hijab, Mama had said. But if you understand who you are, one day, they will too. In class, I draw a picture. Two princesses in hijab having a picnic on an island where the ocean meets the sky. The girl who whispered in line says she likes it. She says it so loud, the teacher comes over to see it. 
I wonder if Asaya drew a picture too. Recess time is for five cartwheels in a row. I land the last one near the sixth graders, near Asaya and her friends, near a boy yelling, I'm going to pull that tablecloth off your head. Asaya's hijab isn't a tablecloth. Asaya's hijab is blue, only blue. Asaya turns away, her friends turn away. They race to the middle of the schoolyard, their shoes pounding the pavement playing tag. Mama, don't carry around the hurtful words that others say, drop them. They are not yours to keep. They belong only to those who said them. It takes me 48 steps to get away from the yelling boy. After school, I look around. I look for whispers, laughs, and shouts. But I only see Asaya waiting for me like it's a regular day. She's smiling, strong. We cross the road hand in hand. I can't wait to get home to show Mama the picture I drew, to show Asaya that I'm wearing the same hijab in it. Because Asaya's hijab is like the ocean and the sky. No line between them, saying hello with a loud wave saying I'll always be here like sisters, like me and Asaya. And that's the end. Do you know what a hijab is? And here's our author, Olympic gold medalist, Ibtihaj Muhammad, wearing her hijab. The end. If you know someone that wears a hijab, share this book with them. I enjoyed being with you today and reading The Proudest Blue. Have a great afternoon.